Yesterday I purchased a new 15 inch MacBook Air. So let's unbox it and do a review. Here's the box that it comes in. And you can already tell that the box is much bigger than the 13 inch. Now this computer comes in four different colors. I chose the dark color, I forget the name of it, but it's basically just like dark, almost a black, dark gray color. I upgraded to the 512 gigabytes of memory just because I used to have 256 and there were times where it wasn't enough. So this will definitely get the job done for me. I did already set up this computer last night, but then I put all the packaging back together. So it looks like I'm unboxing it for the first time. The computer comes in the sleeve here. And then we get a MagSafe power cord, which is kind of cool because it's actually branded to the same color as a computer. So you can see I have the darker version cord. You get some papers and documentation, which I haven't opened yet. And then you get the power brick, which comes in this little area right here. To set this up is really easy. You see now it comes with these two different charger ports in case you want to plug your phone in. That goes down. And then this piece goes into here. It's just USB-C. And this is the MagSafe adapter. So it plugs in to your computer on the side, which I'll show you in a second. Now I'm going to open up the computer. And I just looked this color up online. It's called Midnight. So this is the Midnight 15-inch MacBook Air. One of the things I saw people complaining about from other reviews is how your fingerprints are attracted to this type of finish. I do agree with that. It is kind of distracting, but it's not a big deal in my opinion. Let's open it up. You'll see I had some Billy Madison going on in the background before I was doing this review. And you can take a look at the computer and look how big this trackpad is. I really like that. It's um, much bigger than the one I had on the 13 inch. Let's plug in the charger. Years ago, the MacBook Airs came with this MagSafe charger and then they just suddenly stopped doing it. Uh, I'm not sure why, I guess to save money or something, but I'm so happy that they added it back because I love this feature of this charger because it just kind of breaks away. So I've had some times where I've accidentally tripped over the power cord and this way it won't damage the cord because it just easily breaks off like that. And I love how it just kind of snaps into place to make it real easy and obvious that the computer is charging. I will say though, I don't think they made this power cord long enough considering it's a 15 inch computer. I believe it's only about six feet and I wish it was more like 10 feet because that would really give me the distance I need for a computer this size. I have the lights off so you can kind of see how beautiful it looks. The way that the keys are lit up, it makes it real easy to see in the dark. It has a touch ID button right here that will scan your fingerprint and let you turn on your computer and buy things with your computer. On the side it has power adapter port, as well as two USB-C connections for external hard drives. On the other side, it's real simple. It just has one headphone jack. Here's what the bottom of the computer looks like. And I really like how simple it is with these four feet, if you will, that just kind of support the computer up and I guess keep it cooler underneath. One thing to keep in mind when you're choosing your MacBook Air is that the 15 inch model is 3.3 pounds and the 13 inch model is 2.7 pounds. It may not seem like a big difference, but when you feel the larger one, the 15 inch, you can actually tell it is a bit of a difference and it adds quite a bit of weight to your computer. And this is how much it costs for my version, but I traded it in my old MacBook, so it was a bit cheaper. Here's a better look at the four colors you can choose from. This is the one I have right here. I don't know a lot about all the tech specs. I guess M2 is the new chip and it's fast. It comes with eight gigabyte of RAM, but you can upgrade that if you need to. 256 or 512 gigabytes of memory, or you can upgrade even higher. It actually has six speakers in this thing. No wonder why it sounds so good. This is crazy. Look at this, 18 hours of battery life on this thing. After spending just a little time with this computer, I could say I really like it. It's a big improvement over the 13 inch that I had. The bigger screen is incredible for watching movies. The speakers are better. It's a great computer. And I hope you found this review slash unboxing valuable. Thanks for watching and have a great day.